Jonathan. Hi, Carmen. It's been a long time. It has. Good to see you. You too. And happy new year. And happy new year. So when's the record out? 3rd of February. Awesome. <laughs> Just jump into the into the actual album now. Sure, I just gave it a listen yesterday. It did. Yeah, I haven't. I think I I heard like a premix. I think oh, you sent yeah, me that yeah, like yeah. over almost a year ago. I think. Yeah, it was in May probably. In May, all yeah. right. <clears throat> Which also sounded nice, but now hearing the the full mix and the master, it just oh, it sounds so good. It really sounds good. Well, that's. Yeah. I've been through the ringer of like wow. And, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's decent. Oh, I hate it. Oh, there's nothing on it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was just blown away. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's also like, just to, just to get back to it with like fresh ears. And you obviously yeah. have been playing so many other projects since. Mm -hmm. So, that the, yeah. It's, a, it, it's cool that you have oh, this Oh, I, I of, really like um, it. I really think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like kind of like looking back on it and thinking about it and listening to it, you can really hear people shining through. Mm -hmm. And that was also like, like even though you play in a section, like for me, it's so important that you give something of yourself. Yeah. Because then it, otherwise it's just going to be flat mm -hmm. and you don't want that, mm -hmm. especially on something that stays there forever. Yeah. yeah. I think you can almost hear how people are excited mm. and excited about the record excited about the music excited what they can play on the record mm. which is a really good thing and it shines through and I remember a few spots in the studio playing and uh, I think Frederick and me um, the bass player we uh, had a second solo or you know like some in the middle of of, of, mm -hmm. of, of a tune we just thought let's do something different mm. Let's see what happens. Mm. Even though the tape is rolling and everybody is on payroll, and okay, we if if we screw this up, yeah. it's a lot of money <laughs> because <laughs> For we sure. yeah. because we could have had another take on a, on a different mm. tune and stuff like that. Thank, thankfully, we didn't. Mm. And I, every time I, I I forget the name of the tune. Uh, it's I the baritone it's the, feature. Yeah, exactly. It's called ambivalence. <laughs> Ah, great. And you know <laughs> nice why it has that name? Oh, I don't know. I it's don't because actually. of that switch. Oh, really? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like that. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> great. <laughs> so, I mean, some of these things that happen in the studio, obviously, and, and you know, things that happen out of pe people's personalities and their way of, of carrying the music or, or giving mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. to the music is sometimes really crucial. Of course, and I, I think it's, it's so great that you allowed that and you invited the band to do that because if it was just like any other normal recording setting, we, were, we probably would have been strict mm. and, 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 and been, been, been like way too shallow in the focus of just playing and executing what, what, mm. what, we, what we should do to get a good take and then we could move on. Yeah. But, but this was a totally different setting with, with, uh, with energy and excitement and... and Everybody was a little scared as well because something is in, in an odd time yeah, signature. Yeah, for oh, sure. Sure. It's really interesting so because, good. like, to, to, I was so consumed also with my own insecurities during that studio session. Right, okay. So it's like I, I had a very tough time actually capturing that excitement from the musicians yeah. so I was just yeah, like I, I really consumed yeah. by like the fear of like what if this doesn't work out even mm -hmm. though like I worked so hard on it yeah um so it's good to hear it from oh, the other side like yeah. the perspective yeah of, of course it. yeah but I, I get that feeling like something you've been working on for multiple years is like condensed into two days yeah exactly <laughs> exactly like, it's actually quite uh, quite insane it's really insane <laughs> like normally uh uh uh, uh one of many life works like that is, is something that you enjoy for a long period of time mm -hmm. or work on with other people for a long period of time. But, but, but writing like that is, is obviously like hyper-focused, but, but, but alone. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of stuff alone. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can call friends, you can text yeah. friends. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you, can, you can, of course, get help uh, and you can have a session with a band, but, but, but it's so much just 
solo focused time. It is really. And you know, like there's never enough time. No. Like there's never enough time and I feel like, you know, I could have done so much more if I had more time. But mm -hmm. it's it's also like, you know, sometimes you just have to like accept mm -hmm. what it is mm -hmm. and that you cannot keep on working on it. No. Really yeah, I've, I wish that I could like, you know, that I could kind of go back and experience these days again with a different mindset. Yeah, and enjoy them. Exactly. Because you know yeah. what it's, what is, yeah, I, I get that. Exactly. You, you know how it's going to turn out. Because you're Stop so worrying. consumed by like all the mistakes and yeah. all the things that, oh, it could be better and they, this and that. And mm. eventually just, you're like, okay, let's just settle for this. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I don't want to push you any further. Mm -hmm. But it's like always kind of like fighting in your head, like like the things that you know how it could sound mm -hmm. and then accepting also how it ends up sounding mm -hmm. and just to do it again with like like completely calm just just enjoy these days mm. like i would love to do that again but then you might have not pushed me to play True. that solo <laughs> but not in the sense of changing anything but in the sense of just yeah just enjoying experiencing it, yeah, it again I get that. Yeah, yeah of course I'm 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 gonna jump in a different area now. Do you do you have any like very practical in particular sounds in the big band that you like or that you love or that you feel like that if I get to do that, if I can write something that'll end with that or like anything in particular. Like very practical. It could be that player playing with that player or this combination of instruments or like something or do you Honestly, or do you, do you not just not at all because oh, the, the, the way that I feel that I I write is on the piano so whatever right. I land on there mm -hmm. that sounds good mm -hmm. I'm like yes and, and, and that's also like also like my lack of knowledge mm -hmm. in terms of like orchestration mm -hmm. because there are definitely like so many like exciting things that you could do, um, pair instruments that you could pair yeah. that I don't have any idea of, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> so I'm just like, that's what I'm saying, like I'm always kind of like swimming in the, like, yeah. in the <laughs> unknown swimming waters. In the dark. <laughs> <laughs> swimming in the dark. Swimming in the dark, But yeah, my, my tool so far has been like, if it sounds good on the piano, it sounds good on, cool. on also arranged on the, yeah. on the horns. Nice. I don't know, can you uh, give me some tips? Well, uh, uh, no, <laughs> no, maybe but but I, that you I, would, enjoy. I I just I, I ask you because I think I can hear in in your writing and especially on the record there's like there's obviously you have a sound mm. but there's a few places in a few tunes where 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 I could just pinpoint oh yeah that's that's something Carmen would write oh okay and I, I for the life of me I can't remember what it yeah, is right for now sure. yeah. but but there's a few places where where it sounds very. Carmen Ish, okay. which I really like, and it's it's almost al almost always my favorite places when, it's when, also when you really can get that person sound. I actually wrote it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but it, it it's I think it's 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 beautiful when 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 stuff like that just just mm. pops out on on the record. It 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 might it doesn't have to be like a big chord or mm. a particular way of, of voicing stuff, but like it's just in 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 general. Mm. There's a few places where it just sounds like, oh yeah, definitely, that's common. Mm. Kind of, it has your sound all over it, which I really, really like. Well, that's great to hear because I, I literally am just doing something, mm. and that's that's been my like, kind of like yeah, way of writing for a really long time. So maybe it's about time that I kind of get some tools also. <laughs> well, I would argue that you shouldn't because, <laughs> yeah, I, because I, lo I I love the sound and I think you should just keep keep on doing it and expanding your your own sound yeah. and. And making that even more commonish. I mean, th there's there's loads of, of technical writers out there that mm. can that can write in the style of mm. a particular composer or arranger, and it's it's great and very lifeless <laughs> <laughs> because it'll never be what the actual composers or arrangers did. But 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 when there's composers and arrangers that have their own sound like mm. you do, which is obvious on the record, and it sounds great. I think that you can't ask for any more. It's just the best. And I, I, I don't know the, the magic number, but 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 at at a certain point, with a certain amount of people like getting in the same headspace, 
I feel like the, a band can switch from being a lot of soloists and a lot oh. of single players to like, okay, now we're in an ensemble. Okay, for sure. Now there's a different vibe going. Now mm -hmm. there's a different rule set. Like you do that, I do this. Mm -hmm. He does that, and she does that. And then it, it sort of works instead of just like a, a, a big jam session or a big... Mm. Yeah, big band. That's that actually really interesting <laughs> now that you bring it up because like I, I don't think that I ever experienced being part of a band like that. Mm -hmm. Because like I'm I've always been, you know, whatever I do, I've always been in the front. Mm -hmm. And and I, I think it kind of brings like a co completely different dynamic to how you work in a band mm -hmm. because all eyes are on me also in a band class yeah. or or in a in a in a kind of like a band rehearsal or whatever it could be, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I bring the ideas, like, it's like everything kind of goes by, like, what I decide. Mm -hmm. And just kind of to be a part of something, to even even just, like, to be a part of a band and not have any uh, responsibility on yourself necessarily mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to make, to carry the music. Yeah. Uh, I never really <laughs> experienced no, that. No, yeah, I, of course <laughs> I get that, yeah. So... So for me also like if I think about like writing for Big Band it's been like a very it's been like a very kind of like going around in the dark mm -hmm. because I don't know what it means to be a member of a big band. Right, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's just just like two completely different ways of 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 looking at it and experiencing it I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. I mean, I'm as as you in in, a, in an orchestra setting, <coughs> just like me. We're the only one playing our instruments. Mm. Like there's 13 people that that have buddies just besides of them that play the same instruments. They have to phrase the same way. They have to articulate the same way. <coughs> it's it's a, a whole other world. I'm I'm totally in the dark mm. around mm. stuff like that as well. Mm. I I can work out stuff and and to be honest. Half of the time when I'm 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 writing something, I my phone is right beside me, and I I'll text somebody. <laughs> it's, it's that difficult to play, and I'll, I I did that with the with the, the Caledonian Crossroads yeah. project. There was a trumpet line. I thought that might be kind of difficult, so I took a photo of it yeah. and I texted uh, Jakob Sørensen. Hey, is that is that does that work? Is that mm. difficult? And he said, I can't do it. Oh. But, but last probably can. <laughs> okay, for sure. <laughs> like, and, and because they, they specialize. Yeah. Which, which when, when, I, when, I, when I realized that, okay, yeah, well, people who place that place in the band in comparison to that place might have a different skill set. Mm. So, well, I, I, I learned that years ago, but it's just a nice confirmation that, oh, yeah, it's not just a fixed set of, 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 of workers. Mm. It's... it's it's, it's individuals. It's individuals. Right? Yeah. In, it's it's human beings. It's artists. Mm -hmm. That and if you can if you can pull on on their experiences and 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 their sounds mm -hmm. in an ensemble, it it really it becomes something different and something yeah. really really great. But that also kind of requires for you to know them. Exactly. Know, yeah. In a level yeah. that's like more than just like having seen them a couple of times. You know? mm -hmm. So I think, like, also for you to be a member of that orchestra, right? Yeah, of course. I can imagine, like, the kind of, like, connection you create to people and the way that you understand their strengths mm -hmm. is so much far beyond that I could ever begin to understand because I haven't been in that band mm. as a member, right, yeah. like a yeah. proper member ever. <laughs> of course. That's true. Well, you can take me. <laughs> yes, I'll do that next time. <laughs> you're you're not gonna like that. I can't play it, but but Lars <laughs> probably can. <laughs>